In this tutorial, we're going to create a 3D model in Google SketchUp. It's called now Trimble SketchUp or SketchUp 8. And we're going to um, uh, install it. When you install it off the internet, I recommend uh, uh, choosing custom install. You don't want to install bloatware onto your computer. So make sure that you don't install all these extra tool add ons. And when you open up SketchUp, uh, let's just do as little as possible to actually create a spaceship, a beautiful, a beautiful spaceship. You see there's this uh, person here, we just went file new, OK, OK, so basically the defaults in inches and, and uh, feet. Click on the selection tool, click on the lady, and press delete. If you heard a scream, don't worry, it's OK. I think she's OK, she went to another dimension. I'm going to begin by clicking on the rectangle tool and drawing a rectangle, and you can see, whoa, what's happening? It's kind of like snapping around, but just somehow, some way, draw a rectangle. I'm going to press the middle mouse button. The middle mouse button, if you hold it down and shake your, shake your hand around on the mouse, you can see it kind of uh, rotates the screen. Alternatively, you can click on the button called Orbit at the top here. This Pan button can also be achieved by pressing uh, the Shift button. So uh, pressing the Shift button and then holding down the middle mouse button can pan. If you, guys, if you, if you can't memorize uh, that, try just clicking on the button up here. And finally, zoom. Zoom, you can press that button or you can press the middle mouse button. This is very useful for navigating your 3D world. So let's also now press this button called push pull. So I'm going to use a selection tool to select my surface, which is here. I can see uh, my surface now has chicken pox. There's little dots there. I'm going to use the push pull tool to pull it up. And there we go. We have a beautiful spaceship. Now, does that look ready to fly? Not quite yet. Almost. So to make this uh, spaceship a bit more beautiful, I'm going to try uh, practicing a very advanced technique here. Now when I think of a spaceship, I think of wings. So I'm going to use the pencil tool. And if you use the pencil tool and move it near one of the midpoints, you can see it. Uh, Google SketchUp is supposed to be easier. It, it kind of snaps into the midpoint, light uh, blue circle there. Click once and let go. Once you let go, you can kind of like drag your um, your hand out to the other midpoint and click to snap into place there. Let's use the selection tool to select that actual line. And this is where you should probably rotate a little bit. And then use the move tool. There's a four red arrows, which is the move tool, to actually click and then move it. Now you can see that I'm doing a pretty good job here, but sometimes you can kind of get a bit wonky. Now the question is, how do you actually stay on that red axis? You can see there's a little red axis there, but it's kind of a little bit shaky. So as a little tip, you might want to play with the camera, uh, the standard views, and try messing around with the top. And you can press, you can zoom out here. Camera, standard views, bottom. Camera, standard views, front. Oh, here, this front one is good for me now. So play around with the camera views. So when I use the move tool, you can see as I'm moving it now, I can clearly see this is wrong unless you want it to look like some kind of bird. Uh, if you want it to go down the middle, you just stay along that nice red axis line. So this is a very nice uh, spaceship, as you can see. It's beautiful. So let's make this spaceship um, a little bit more interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, um, click on a surface. And you can see there's this thing called push-pull. Push-pull tool allows things to go up and down. This is kind of interesting, but I might do that. Uh, I can even draw some uh, shapes. I can draw a circle here. And if you want to kind of uh, click and drag, you can even push pull a circle outside of the ship. So I push, here's the push pull tool. Push it outside, or even you can even go uh, inside the ship. So here's outside. You can even push down into the ship. Very interesting. <clears throat> All right, so let's press Control Z to undo. Uh, let's just uh, finish off using one last technique here to draw a beautiful spaceship. Going to go to View. Toolbars, large tool set. More buttons appear. One of my favorite buttons here, if you click on the uh, select tool, we select the surface, is this uh, tool called offset. So when you click on the offset tool, which looks like two uh, semicircles, I'm going to click and then I'm going to actually click and hold and drag out until I see something like that. So what's nice about this is now when I use push pull, is you can actually. Uh, 
grab the the perimeter and, and near the perimeter and just offset it such that you can pull that and press Control Z to undo. Or you can select the inside, the inner parts of that uh, edge. And once we offset it, you can just uh, push pull the inner parts up and down. Now the original question is, does this look like a spaceship at all? Probably not, but uh, I challenge you to do better. Okay, so uh, great. So take some time to do a better job, okay, and uh, be proud. And we're going to continue on in just a moment. Okay, so ideally you'd actually spend some more time and practicing the tools and drawing something a bit better than this. But for the sake of concepts, let's move on. Let's go to uh, View uh, Axes. You can hide the axes by going to View Axes. Good to know. And this is where I'm going to say, uh, once you choose the right angle that you like of your spaceship, we're going to make our 3D model into a 2D game. So hold the middle mouse button and shake it around. Looks pretty reasonable. I'm going to go to File, Export, 2D Graphic. File, Export, 2D Graphic. And let me just save it to my desktop, and I'm going to call it uh, ship.png. And this is where you might use some program like Photoshop. OK, so we got this picture into Photoshop. You can go uh, file open and open that uh, ship.png into Photoshop. We're going to use the magic wand tool. It's one, two, three, four tools down. And if you uh, click, it selects areas of similar color. You might want to try playing around with the tolerance setting. You can actually uh, hold the shift button to uh, uh, get multiple areas. And if you hold the shift button enough, you eventually get the outline. If this is not working for you, you might want to play around with the tolerance setting as you're selecting things. So I'm going to press delete and it looks like we have most of the outline. You can go to select, deselect to get rid of the shiny marquee dotted lines. Now if you double click your layer in Photoshop, double click, you can add a nice stroke. So we're going to click on the middle of the word stroke and you can change the color of the stroke. If I were to choose gray for example, it turns gray. You could change the size as well. That's a bit too thick so we're just going to leave it at uh, maybe around 5 pixels or so. Or uh, click OK.